Hey there interwebs, this is my video about hot dropping and hopefully it'll make you a little bit better at the game. Before we get started, know this, you are going to die. <laughs> a lot. That was bad. No way. No. No. <laughs> So the first thing you guys should know is that hot dropping is actually a really good way to get better at the game quickly. It puts you right into the action and helps you increase your looting skills and your ability to fight. The better you get at these hot drop situations, the better you're going to get at non hot drop situations where you don't have to fight as many people at once. So any named location on the map is going to be a hot drop. There are a few hot drops that are more hot than others. So my preferred drops are Frenzy Fields, Slappy Shores, Shattered Slabs, and Brutal Bash. I suggest learning two locations on the map. The two that I always go to are Frenzy Fields and Slappy Shores. These two are far enough away from each other that basically one of them is always going to be close enough to the path that the battle bus is taking and will be within reasonable drop distance. The reason I say to pick two is you really want to learn these two locations. You want to learn where every single chest spawns, where every single ground weapon can potentially spawn, on, so that way that gives you the best opportunity to land, get a gun, and start getting kills. Something I want you guys to keep in mind is not to get carried away with looting when you hot drop, especially early on in the drop. Get a gun and some shields, and make sure all players that landed within the immediate vicinity are eliminated before you go on and really start looting more where you have your back turned to people and potentially die to them. If you guys didn't know, you can ping weapons and items on the ground while you're gliding. This actually makes it really useful to be able to figure out what is actually on the ground before you land. Then you can pick out the item that you feel like is more important to prioritize having. For me, if there's a shotgun, I'm going to prioritize picking up the shotgun over anything else. You guys should also learn the difference between bots and real players. You definitely want to prioritize fighting real players over fighting bots. Bots are going to be pretty easy to spot. They run in very particular ways. And it's also very easy to tell that when they're shooting at you, they aren't landing any shots at all. Don't 50-50 players for a chest if that's the first thing you're dropping to. Try to go for a weapon laying on the ground instead. Chances are they're going to get the loot out of the chest and it's just not that great for you. If for whatever reason your only option is to 50-50 a chest with somebody else, remember the guns always pop out to the right hand side. Thanks to Evolve Jake for that tip. Hot dropping a lot will also help you learn how to rotate out of the hot drop after everything's finished. This is actually really important for mid game so you know where to expect other players. Another thing to keep in mind during hot drops is you don't necessarily want to thirst people right away after you knock them. This can waste valuable time for you where you might need that ammo to fight somebody else as they approach. In hot drop situations, if people hear shots, most likely they're going to be pushing towards those shots because they know these people have just fought. Therefore, their shields are probably low, so if they haven't been in a fight yet, they're probably going to know that, hey, I have a better advantage in this fight than they do. More advanced tip that I struggle with a lot is counting the amount of players that are actually landing at your hot drop with you and keeping track of that in the kill feed. This can be super helpful for knowing, hey, this many people landed with me, there's been this many deaths in the kill cam, and I've heard this many shots and stuff fired around. This can be super useful to you if you can keep track of all of it, but it is a more advanced skill to have. If you're playing a team game mode, I definitely recommend landing as close as possible with your teammates. The closer you guys are together, the easier it's going to be for you guys to help each other out. 2v1 scenarios are definitely better than 1v1s or a 1v2 in worst case scenario. Obviously, don't land right on top of each other, otherwise one of you is not going to get any loot, but definitely try to stick close enough to each other that if one gets in trouble, you can help the other ones out. But long story short, guys, hot dropping is great for getting better at the game. It's going to get you into fights quicker. It's going to put you in more unique situations more often so you can learn and get better at the game. The only way you're going to get better is by practicing. There's no quick shortcut or cheat to getting better. In my opinion, hot drops is one of the best ways that you're going to be able to do this. It's definitely made me better at the game. If you want more tips on Fortnite Chapter 4, click on this video at the end. If not, click on this video for some gameplay footage.